If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Word automatically enables the autosave feature when you save a document using the newest file formats to an online destination like OneDrive or SharePoint. Autosave saves the file to the online location every few seconds as you work. You can toggle the autosave feature on or off for the current document by clicking the autosave toggle button in the upper left corner of the document window in the quick access toolbar. When enabled, you can choose to manually save changes and also update the file with any changes made by other users of a shared file by clicking the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar. However, note that you cannot click the Save command in the Backstage view when Autosave is enabled. You can make a copy of a file when Autosave is enabled by clicking the File tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Save a Copy command at the left side of the Backstage view to open the saved locations in the area to the right. This works the same way as initially saving the file. However, note that the saved copy is separate from the original file and changes you make to the copy are not reflected in the original file. However, this is useful for making changes to a copy of the file you don't necessarily want other users to see when working on the original shared online file. You can also easily reverse changes you make to an online file with autosave enabled by using the same undo feature you use on locally saved files. However, in addition, you can also revert an online file with autosave enabled back to a previous save state. One way to do this is to click the drop down at the right end of the file's title within the title bar, and then select the version history command from the drop down menu. Alternatively, click the File tab in the ribbon, click the Info command at the left side of the document if necessary, and then click the Version History button to the right. Either way, the Version History panel then appears at the right side of a duplicate copy of the document window that opens. The document's previous save states appear in the Version History panel, sorted by date, with the current version of the document selected. To show the contents of a previous save state for the Word document in this window, click the desired save state version of the file to show within the window. The message box at the top of the window shows the date of the selected version. To show the editing changes made to the selected version as tracked changes in this document, Click the Show Edits toggle switch at the top of the version history pane to set it to the on position if needed. Then click the previous and next arrow buttons by the list of edits to the right of the toggle switch to step through the document's edits. You can then either copy selected content from the previous version in the duplicate copies window into the current versions window save the previous version as a copy, or click the Restore button in the message box that appears at the top of the Duplicate Copies window to restore the selected save state version of the file and overwrite the current version. Alternatively, you can close the duplicate copy of the file without making any changes if desired. If desired, to stop Word from automatically enabling autosave for all online files by default, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Options command at the left side of the Backstage view to open the Word Options window. Then click the Save category at the left side of the Word Options window. Uncheck the Autosave files stored in the cloud by default in Word checkbox to the right. Then click the OK button to save your settings and restart Word. Regardless of whether it is enabled by default, 
You can always toggle autosave on or off by using the toggle switch in the quick access toolbar for an individual online file. Word remembers the individual file's autosave state each time you reopen the file in the future. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.